Hi, this presentation is concerning one specific person that has greatly influenced and affected the quality of my life over the past 10 to 12 years. And that is Dr. David Scott Moss. Dr. Moss is responsible for me living cancer free. I was he noticed in 2007 that my PSA score was go, was going up and the rate that it was going up was was out of bounds, I think. The rate that it was going up was alarming to him based on based on what he what he knows. And uh, one year in 2007 after going through the blood work results of my of my annual physical, uh, he he went through different things and 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 one of the last items that he said what that he mentioned was the PSA score. He says, "Oh, by the way, your PSA is high. You might want to get that checked out." So <laughs> I uh, I took action on that, and he referred me to another doctor who via biopsy verified that I, in fact, was positive for prostate cancer. Uh, the other doctors estimated that it would have been anywhere from 10 to 15 years before I would have seen any, before I would have had any physical symptoms or any physical signs of prostate cancer. And by then, uh, that probably would have been very painful and, 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 a lot of suffering involved in getting that treated, but doctor. But thanks to Dr. Moss, thanks to Dr. Moss's early detection of my of my prostate cancer. Now I understand that PSA score is not always 100% indicative of prostate cancer, but it it probably is. And I thank God that Dr. Moss uh, did such a good job and 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 take, does such a good job in taking care of all of his patients and watching stuff like my PSA score. Um, if it wasn't for Dr. Moss and the cyber knife, there we are, the cyber knife. If it wasn't for Dr. Moss and the cyber knife, the results could have been very, very, well, my lifestyle would be very, very different. And once again, thanks to Dr. As you can see, Dr. Morris is an MD VIP affiliated doctor. And if he is if he is an example, if he is an average example of MD VIP, then that's the only kind of doctor I want to see. That's my line of thinking anyway. I've been seeing doctors all of my life, and Dr. Moss by far is the absolutely the best primary care physician that I've ever seen. And I appreciate him very, very much. So because of him keeping a close eye on my PSA. And at the time, I was 57, I think, uh, when my PSA went up. But because of Dr. Moss keeping a close eye on my PSA score uh, and, and me being able to find the cyber knife, there's a cyber knife in Carolina's Medical Center in Concord, North Carolina. I was able to find a cyber knife facility in Concord. And, and but thanks to Dr. Moss's early detection and me finding the cyber knife, I was able to have my prostate cancer cured without surgery and without a hospital stay. The process of going through going through a uh, cyber knife treatment for prostate cancer is I had to lay on a bed, stay, remaining fully clothed for about 45 minutes while this computer-controlled robot rotated around me and very accurately aimed a beam of radiation at my prostate. Now it rotates around the body and it shoots the radiation on using the prostate, in, in my case, using the prostate as a pivot point so that it shoots from almost a full 360 degree, 360 degrees uh, angle, basically, so that it doesn't so any side effects to surrounding organs are minimal. So for example, so I'll give you a definite example. It will shoot from the left side. It will shoot from the right side. It will shoot from the top. It will shoot from the bottom. 
and no matter which direction it shoots from, it is still shooting, it is still aiming the beam going through the prostate. So the prostate is receiving, was receiving 100% of the radiation of the beam, the radiation beam. And it got to the point where I was thinking, there's got to be some side effect. This isn't doing anything. I don't think it's working because I didn't feel any different. I felt no different. You know, I would stop off five days in a row, lay down for 45 minutes while this machine rotated around me, and I would go to work. And then after work, I would drive home as normal, and I expressed concern to my wife that this machine isn't, I don't think it's working. And the question was why. I said, well, I don't, it's not, there should be some side effect because it's shooting radiation right down there. And uh, lo and behold, we discovered that it did not affect our intimate life, fortunately. And uh, so I remained, fully, I remained a fully functional male in that regard. Um, but yet and still, my prostate cancer was cured by a combination of early detection, thanks to Dr. Moss, and the cyber knife without surgery. And there's Dr. Moss's uh, photograph again, and some information on the right-hand side of the display. And once again, I will go ahead and say, as you can see, he's an MD VIP affiliated doctor, and I greatly appreciate Dr. Moss. As long as I'm in Charlotte, I will always stay a patient of Dr. Moss's. And should I ever move from Charlotte, I will look for an MD VIP affiliated doctor. Because it, my impression is that they have the same, they have a very similar attitude and approach to practicing medicine and, and treating their patients as Dr. Moss does. And if he's a if he's a good example of what an MD VIP doctor is like, then I'm, that's what I'm going to look for. Period.